My name is Bia Fekana. I say welcome to you. If this is the first time you're here, welcome. And we are trying to constantly bring videos out every week. Um, <laughs> this dress I'm wearing actually has a video. Um, if you look, if you look through our videos, it's actually um, there. Um, I think I'll, I'll put the link down. I, it's a video I did. In the video, it's actually tied at the neck like this. But today, it's very hot. If you're in butter court, you know what I'm saying. So I thought of, should I tie it? I said, no, I now did a tie here. And I love it. I think, um, I think I'm actually preferring this to the necktie. Now, um, I, I saw, I teach, I train people as well. We have online classes and then I do illustration on Facebook. I'm putting our, uh, the link to our Facebook group uh, down below too. If you're not a member yet, please join. Actually, I do constant illustrations online. Um, today, we're looking at this beautiful dress. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just hope you like it. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps our channel. Um, this is my pattern now. I'm, I'm marking the length. Add it down. My, the length of my my finished dress is going to be 37 so I'm, I'm actually doing a slant um, here I want there to be the back should be slightly longer than the front you know so I'm going to just cut cut it that way so um, that's here we are. Then you see, I have another line here. It's the combination of my dress. So I'm cutting off here. This is. So I'm keeping this aside. Then. We're now going to work with this, you know. So, in order to, this is my neck. This is my basic neck, three by three. You know, which is good. So, I want this. This is my finished sewing leg. This is like one inch and a half now. So, I'm going to connect that to. I've connected that to my armhole now, which is good. I'm, I'm doing the same to the back part in order to be able to get that right it's best to put it this way you know so I'm marking the same thing here and then going all the way to my I'm like this so. Um, I'm, I'm good with this. I can decide to actually go in this way. In going in, I'm going to end up having, um, I've sort of done a C cut behind me. So I just went in. After I cut, I just went in a little bit. You can go in as much as you want, you know, but I think I'm good with this. So I'm going to cut out now. So what I what I'll do later is I'm going to have to have my allowance, you know, added to the see. Um, see where we are now. Now this is going to be very open. We're going to naturally. We're going to have. Um, a get up here it's very natural so i'm going to now put uh, my lines you know so what i'm going to do is 
around here is my bust point. I'm going to just put a line here from here to here. I'll just do a straight line this way and then this way. What what I've taken out here is about one inch, you know, which is good. Now I normally would have taken out here, take out here and all that, but I can take all that in one particular place. So I'm taking out I'm taking this out here now. So I'm just um, cutting up to this point and then I'm doing a sort of lap like this. I'm just doing a sort of lap like this i use my silly tip and love that so as i'm doing you see how um, it's sort of curvy you know on me now i have a choice you see what i have now i have a choice here if i don't want here to be more open i can actually just fill this in because look how the, the, my boss is going to be here i'm going to sort of have an open there so i'm going to fill this in now you know to have a little more um, coverage that's what I want if you want it more open you just go like this but I want a little bit more coverage then um, to cover that up I'm just going to use a piece of paper and then put there then the next thing to do after that because our dress is flay I'm going to have to slash and spread you know so um, I think I have one line here then this place that I actually had an open I had a cut before I just go down there I have one two I'm going to now do a third one here so I'm cutting here now I start see what um see what i've done this is these are my slash lines you know what i did i cut through i cut through i cut through i decided to ignore this you know so i'm just going to now um open it up so i open and i open it up now This part of my, my dress is going to be on fold. So I have the space that I have here, between here and here. I actually have 14 inches here. I'm thinking another 14 inches here. Or 15 is nice. So let's just take it to 15. So we have 15 inches, 15, 15 and a half inches. You know, this is this is how wide this, um, this 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 particular portion is going to be the one that will sort of that's sort of get up get up so if you want it bigger than this means you open it more if you want it smaller you sort of um, close it i think i think this is not bad you know and then um, I'm going to just put my silo tape here and seal it. And then you would have noticed the uh, my armhole. I've, I've actually done um, what I wanted to fill because after I've opened it up, I won't be able to get the shape. So you do it before you start um, opening this up like this. So, so the next thing to do is to sort of mark you know something that's um, sort of a bit curvy is nice i think this is better so i'm um, just marking then just back here and i'm cutting this out now Mm -hmm. 
peeler. This is, um, I'm cutting out, uh, this is not part. This is my armhole. And then I'm good. So the next I'm going, I'm doing now is, I'm doing exactly the same thing at the back. So I have, I have a line here, I have a line here, so I'll just cut it off, cut it off, I mean the same thing that I did there, I'm going to do here, then I'm, I'm opening it, you know. Pattern now. This is my front. This is the back. You know. So we're going to the, to to cut on fabric now. See see what I've I've done. We added, we slashed and spread before. We had 15 inches, but bring it on fabric. I realized that it's not as full as I want it to be. I actually want it um, fuller than that. So what, what I've done here now, I've added a slash at that that same position. This this um, is originally my finished pattern, you know. So I've added what I have here now is about eight inches. This is like seven or eight inches. See what happens. My fabric is by forty-five. So as my pattern has already gotten to the edge of my fabric, I think this is as this is this is good. So I'm going to cut this out now. My back is is good you know as in the back doesn't have to be as wide as the front and i still like that so i really would want uh, the front way way bigger so i'm, I'm going to cut out uh, now and then we'll start sewing this is my dress now i've you see i've joined i joined my shoulder the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to weave and then the back i have a seam behind yeah. So I'm, I'm going to weave and then join with properly. Then this is the down. So the down part that the one we cut out of paper. The one we cut, uh, the one we cut out of paper. This is it. So my fabric was uh, almost not able. You see what I did? I had a little bit of this, so I sort of joined it, you know, like this. And then I now cut off. That's where this, the, I made this, this other side shorter, the back side longer. So it's way bigger than this. We're going to sort of do very tiny pleats as we go. That's why this is bigger than this one. So I'm going to go join. I'm going to weave, join this, weave, and then we'll talk some more. Okay, see, uh, see where we are now. We've joined it down. See what it's looking like. I'm thinking it sort of looks nice. This is like the back side. This is the front now. See what happened? What happened here is that I cut here off wanting it very short and i realized that it was a bit too short because i had not folded yet it was beautiful but after folding it would be too short so i added the piece uh, the pieces i have back just uh, did the form of gathers you know see so this is the front part the back side was longer so it's uh, the front almost entering the back that's where i have this hat now i think i'm good with the length so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to fold here. Then the neck, I'm, I'm piping the neck and I'm piping the armhole. You would have seen, you remember the back while we were cutting, we actually went in a bit, but because of the fullness of the back, so how much we've, we've gone in is not going to show anymore. When I, uh, when I, uh, uh, I turn my back, you see what I mean. So what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do now is to pipe and then fold it down then it works really good okay. this is my dress in the hanger now what i'm going to do now is to hang it like this so 
you hang it and leave it for at least three hours or more to allow the flay to drop. So anytime you make a flay, uh, you, you make anything flay, before you finish it down, you hang it to drop. So I'm, I'm going to put it like this till tomorrow. Then after that, I can start working on it. Dress. You can see we, we've piped the neckline. You know, then pipe the armhole. You know, so um, it's actually finished. I think I like it. It looks nice. 